I was just in the park today recording um, and I was riding my bike and I saw these uh, two sulfur crested cockatoos and I I haven't made a video about these birds yet so I just thought I'd make a quick video while I was um, on my way to doing other things. Um, most people would be pretty familiar with these birds. Um, they're extremely common here in Australia. Um, not many people probably realise these birds are common household pets. Um, uh, yeah, I think they're. I think because they're not a rare species over here, um, they're household pets and uh, like around the world. I think, but um, a lot of people outside of Australia probably don't realise that they're actually Australian birds. So this is another common Australian bird that. Um, they live out in the wild and people keep them as pets over here as well. You can um, you can get them from a pet store, but those ones are not, um, they've been hand reared. So um, they've been bought, bred and born specifically um, and domesticated to be pets. These ones are wild. So um, they just, they don't know any other life other than being outside in the wild. Um, I mean, occasionally people will set uh, their cockatoos free and stuff, but I don't think it's allowed. I think it's just something that certain people do. So occasionally you'll find a domesticated one out in the wild, but it's not very, um, it's not a very frequent thing. Um, I actually uh, really uh, wasn't planning on making a video today, but I just uh, really wanted to get these birds on camera. There's usually large groups of these birds together, but for some reason today there was only two. Um, and they were busy digging around. I think they were digging for insects or something. I'm not entirely sure what they were doing, but they appeared to be digging around in the ground. Um, and I haven't really done much research on this particular species, but possibly they eat insects, so that could be what they were doing. Um, in some of these birds go absolutely nuts. I'm not sure what attracts people to having them as pets. They are attractive. But um, they are very hyperactive birds and you wouldn't know it to look at them right now because they're sort of busy and occupied doing their thing. But in summer, um, they get really hyperactive and they rip the branches from the trees <laughs> and they squawk loudly and fly around in big flocks like in summer and autumn, uh, like the first part of autumn when the weather is warm. So um, I apologise for the shakiness of the camera there. But... Um, yeah, I, I think these birds are cute, but I don't – personally, I wouldn't really choose this particular bird as a pet. I think they're a bit too wild. Um, I know that they're trainable, but I probably would choose a cockatiel over a cockatoo. Um, that's just my own personal preference because I think they're a little bit more domesticated and uh, a bit friendlier to humans. And these birds are actually quite large. I mean, I'm quite a distance away and I've zoomed in, but they are actually quite large. Um, even out in the wild, they're quite big. So um, I don't know. I guess you would have to like fairly large birds to be able to have one of these as a pet. But I am actually thinking of getting a pet cockatiel or um, a budgie now, and I probably will make some videos if I do wind up getting a pet bird. But I just thought I would upload this for you. Um, just because I, I like showing all the different birds, not just the pukekos in the park. And I did do a pukeko update, but it's quite short. Um, their beaks um, are definitely changing colour. I don't know if that shows up very well in the video. As you can see, look at them digging around in the ground. They're just going nuts. I was worried I would run out of film, so I kind of have, you know, like had to cut it off because I wanted enough um, film to make a video on the pukekos. But look how cute they are. <laughs> They're so cute. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I really would like to have a pet bird of my own. I'm really thinking seriously about it, but I have to get permission from my landlord. So, um, but I probably wouldn't choose these because they're a little bit too large. I need something I can keep indoors. So, um, but yeah, it's interesting observing their behavior in the wild because it's quite different to how they would behave in, in a indoor setting when you ha keep them as pets. Um, so I hope you enjoy that and I'll be sending another update soon.